Transition Composer module has outro and intro effects and presets. All standard effects also can be applied as Transform Mode and Effect Mode. Transform Mode will modify physical parameters of layer, like position, scale, opacity, rotation. Effect Mode will add movement to layer as Transform Effect, but layer will stay on the same place. Transform modes are working more faster and you can see borders of your layer in 3D space, but effect mode is more better for different type of adjustments and combinations with other effects. Each module can be added in end or beginning of layer with definite duration in frames. But also, you can apply module to whole layer to create constant movement or effect. You should use outro effects for this type of constant movements. Each effect has special modify panel where you can change different parameters for more detailed and creative transitions. Plugin will add two keyframes for strength slider. Effect strength moves from 0 to 100%. Usually, you don't need to edit any keyframes, but you have full access to them and you can easily modify keyframes as you wish, copy them, change duration, apply ease presets and all other native modification of After Effect. There is also very useful option to add transition from current point on timeline. Apply this option with option of whole layer duration and transition will be added from current time till end of layer. You can apply all modules not only directly to layer, but also as adjustment for all layers. Choose this option and all layers under adjustment layer will be affected by module. Another option is to add effect as cut and copy. With this option, plugin will divide layer into two parts. One part will affected by transition and one part will stay untouched. As we mentioned early, you have full access to strength keyframes. This can be used in combination with our expression helpers. For example, elastic expression can add very interesting strength easing. You can use this not only for movement, but for all effects of motion skill plugin. Motion Skill Plugin is very flexible and can be used not only for video, photo transitions, but also for motion design and interface presentations. Let's see what we can do and add some interesting sliding effects to our interface. First of all, we will add constant movement for our half-transparent shapes. We will use sliding outro effect and we will set different direction for each shape. Now, we will add some random intro sliding with our special universal movement controller. Great thing with all effects in Transition Composer is that you can apply them for several layers at once. And even more, you can add predefined values for each parameter. And this is not all good news. You can add even random values by range if you want to have more organic movement for your layers. You can control different parameters of effects which you can easily change after applying effect. And of course, you have full access to strength controller keyframes which can be used to extend duration, easing, start and end point for all effects, including possibility to change strength via native graph editor. Just choose a layer, click on U button on your keyboard and get fast access to keyframes. Anyway, keyframe editing is optional. In most scenarios you don't need to touch them because strength control changing is enough to give random organic movement. Now, we will add the same effect for all layers and will add some different random positions of layers for more interesting sliding effect to get desirable look and style for intro transitions. Also, you can mix different effect and transform styles, intro and outro transitions in the same layer. For example, you can apply constant transform effect above our intro transitions. Now, we will precompose first slider and add second slider with the same effects. Let's add some sliding between layers. For this, we will use sliding ready transition. All ready transitions require to have two layers which you can simply choose on timeline. 
No matter where they placed, plugin will align them and place in proper place for transition. As you see, we have some motion blur effect which we don't need in our situation, so, we can disable it. We also add some offset for layers in second slider, so movement will start after slider will be ready. We can add also some outro effects to first layer, so, it will have some parallax effect, because layers will move differently than our main sliders. Finally, we get very cool sliding effect with parallax, natural movement and transitions for our presentation. Universal movement effect can be used also for fast creating of stomp videos. They are very great for different type of L cuts. First of all, choose all layers and cut their duration. Usually, best results are on 5 frame length. Then, go to helper module and choose align module. You can switch order and even ally layers with cross sections. Then, apply our universal controller. Add some predefined values. Best way is to add zoom and rotation or just zoom. Choose no ease and full length of transition effect, so, it will cover whole layer. That's all, you have fast and cool effect. You can add also additive rotation to each layer to get even more interesting design. Universal movement transition is very flexible effect. You can get amazing results when you play with it. For example, all our role, perspective, camera move transitions are based on universal transition. You can find all of them in ready transition module. But it has also one negative side. It's more slow in comparison with direct transform effectors. But you can fix this if you have such problem. First of all, you can reduce your resolution quality of viewport. Also, if you hit button E on keyboard, you will get access to all effects, you can disable some effects if you don't use them, for example, blur effects. The most weak part of After Effects is tiling. It's memory limited and not optimized part of After Effects, so, we disabled it by default in transitions. When you need it and you have very slow viewport or even error, you can reduce output width and output height values in tile parameter. And, of course, if you need maximum speed, you can use direct slide, rotation, zoom and opacity effects. Even if you add them all to your layer, modify panel will be always on top of your properties, so, you can easily modify strength and attributes.